Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Uh, we're supposed to be going to Prim, but before I leave the town, I want to see my grave. Where was I? Where did I, huh? Huh. Where was I, uh, dug up at? Is this it? This where they dug me up? Damn. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, now I remember. They had me on the ground. And I remember I could see Vegas from all the way over here. What the hell is that down there? Ah. Uh, Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Uh, so I heard that you're the one who dug me out of that grave. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Huh. How'd you even find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they had run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Huh. You know those men who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Mm -hmm. Never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Huh. Well, goodbye. Happy trails! Honestly, I'm not even looking for that guy who shot me. I don't care about him. We probably never gonna see each other again. But my job, apparently I had it. I don't remember any of it, but apparently I used to work as a carrier. And my job location is in a town called Prim. Man, that guy who shot me in the head, he really took my memory away. I don't even know how I'm still alive. Oh well. So. Sonny, you said Prem is where now? You see what I see? You see that? Is that a... What the fuck? Oh, that's it. What? Come on. What? Dynamite! Whoa, you threw that? Whoa! They got like a little plane! Oh. Oh. I was finna say. You just killed your own damn dog. Oh. My. God. Oh, well, it's buried. Yeah, but it barely works. Even if it did. I don't know how to use it. Damn. Sonny, you blew that fucker head off. So we're on our way to Prim, and uh, on the way, on my little journey, I caught a Charizard. I'm serious, you guys wanna see him? Watch. You guys wanna see my Charizard? Go, Charizard! <laughs> Go, Charizard! <laughs> uh, Charizard, go! Why isn't it working? Charizard! Charizard, come here! See? I told you. Hey, Charizard. Alright, Charizard. Return! Come on.
Return. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Uh, what's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What? There's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Hmm. I'm not scared. I can take care of myself. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. I don't see anybody so far. Nobody but my girl. So this is where I work. Oh shit. Whoa! Hold up. Oh god damn, they killed your dog. Oh they didn't. He's just playing dead. Good girl. Hey, are you okay? Ah, uh, he's gone. He's got one of these oversized dice. Huh. So, I got... Well, I had the platinum chip, and he had these oversized dice. Huh. And they both shipped to the same location. What in the hell? Hello? Hello? Nobody's home. Isn't this where I work? Yeah. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Johnson Nash? Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express. Yeah, you're my boss. I'm a carrier with the Mojave uh, Express. Mojav? Mojo? Mojav. Jave. Mojave? What's it? Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. No, I lost a package that I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Yeah. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. Huh? That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was so strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Okay. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Huh, he canceled. Yeah, got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let courier six carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. What in the hell? Do you know who he was? Where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money too. No. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. I don't know anybody. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Well, don't know to how. Well, some men stole my package. A man in a checker suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you've mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. Right. 
He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Huh. Daisy suit. One of those men shot me. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. Hmm. He may have heard where they were going. Okay. Well, thank you anyway. Don't go getting yourself shot. Hmm. Too late for that. So let me get this straight. They all hold up in here? Lucky Casino, the sheriff is in here? his ass away. Oh, that's it. <laughs> All right, Sonny, I think you might be a little bit too loud. I'm gonna have to disband you. Damn it. Son, I'm out of this band. You, you taking my kills. I don't like that. Woo! You should have done that when you scared me. Oops. Man, you could have been an innocent person. You shouldn't have done that. Why'd you do that? Ah, oh, there you are, Chef. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Huh. You must be Deputy Bagel. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure oh, to meet Beagle. you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Sure. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. I didn't cut you loose so you can run away. Come on, man. Stick with me. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. But I'd only slow you down. See you outside. All right. Well, you're supposed to be the deputy. Boy. I think it's time for us to part ways. I don't blame you. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Well, good luck to you. I'm heading back to the prospector. All right. Hey. I, I want to send her away because she's making a lot of noise. And uh, if I try to sneak, she's going to give up my position. Now, how do I... Aha. Big mistake. Ooh. Guys, what do you think he was thinking about? What was his hopes and dreams in life? Did you think he achieved them? Hot damn. Hot damn on a Sunday. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. that up. I've got something for you. I got something for you. Can you guess what it is? You gonna get it soon? You come out you the like door. That? Oh, I'm gonna get you something you like. Hey! Boom! Sheesh! Now, where'd you come from? Ooh. Deputy! Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage oui. situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Huh. You gotta take action, man. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Well, what are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but Me? more of a homebody. 
Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Huh. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. I don't know. Uh, I'll help bring law and order back to print. You will? Sure. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Hmm. Why not? I'm unemployed. I don't got nothing to do. Besides revenge, I guess. But I don't really too much care about the guy who shot me. Hey. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Oh, this and that. Tell me about Prim. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So... I don't have nothing to say about Prim, for the time being at least. <laughs> okay. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. Cry? Who are you? Oh, you must be the wife. I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are Prim long timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around the kitchen. Okay, what do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. Mm. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. Why would it's I wanna... perfectly safe. Long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Because that'll kill you dead. You're eating venom. Well, I need to get going. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Crazy bitch. Hey, uh, hello. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th right. Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Okay. Sir. Sir, back to you. Uh, hello. Man, it's a real uphill fight these days. I'm not sure how we're gonna handle all these convicts. I just killed Patrol them all. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Uh, well, Prem is in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. What we need more than anything is bodies. Bodies? If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. Oh. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Night at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. What are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. Yeah, you don't say. Uh, tell me about the correctional facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And I've been ransacking the area since then. You guys need to have better security when it comes to these convicts. God damn. I mean, that's just sloppy. Well, what's the problem with your mission now? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. Oh. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I can't I'm trying help you to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Shit. Well, do you have any information on these convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves the powder, powder gangers. gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Hmm. Well, that's y'all. Y'all shouldn't have gave them explosives. Fine. <laughs> Had them do some other kind of work. Woo! 
Look at that view. Ah, that must be it. The NCRC elf. Okay. Let me get out my binoculars. I sold my binoculars. Shit. I see some guys on top. Let's see if I can. Hello. Oh yeah. Get your ass off that damn tower. Whew. Fucked him up. Oh, he ain't even know. Oh, he don't know? Uh. He know now. Boys in blue, they gonna go. Like you. Uh. Daddy. There it is. Woo. Open the gate. Coming in. Clean up crew. Requires key? Oh, don't worry. Pretty sure this guy got it, yeah. Howdy! Oh, Boom! Where you going, huh? Get that gun out your hand. Can I shoot the gun out of your hand? No way. Hold on, hold on, no, go back. I can't! Ooh, I can shoot the gun out of your hand! Oh! Ooh, I looked him dead in the eye. Uh 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 uh. Hot back. Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? I'm always looking for trouble. Uh, what did you do before you ended up in. ended up incarcerated? I was a sheriff, believe it or not. Yeah. A small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Huh. Well, how would you feel about becoming Prim's new sheriff? Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Okay. Due process has its place. Sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. You have a deal. All right, then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. I'm gonna clear the rest of this shit out here. Maybe the NCR can take it back. Whoa! Put the dynamite down. They ain't toys. I don't told you. Give me them dynamite. Walking around with dynamite. Now I'm gonna have to take your leg off so you can sit down. I told him sit down. What have you done? What have I done? What have I done? Woo! Whoa! Hey! Daddy! Oh, Lord! I splattered all over the wall. Woo! Woo, 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 boy! Yeah! Hey! Hey! Woo! Aha! 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 Woo! Woo! I've got you now. Oh, yeah, you got me? You got me now? Hey! Uh oh. Who's that young man over there? Uh. Uh. Woo. 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 They got lasers. Okay, I'm about to die. But I'm gonna take you down with me. Uh. Come on somewhere. You got the wrong guy. Hey, boys. God damn! Wow, check this place out. Okay. Hey. Coming from the north? Must be crazy to brave those roads. 
what is this place? I know what this place is. Where's these statues of? Those two? Represents unification. Oh. Mostly good for shade. Mm -hmm. Won't do much else when the Legion reaches us. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'm gone now. Watch yourself. Legion. Hey. Hey there. Hello. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Hello. Mojave? Mojave? This is a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Uh, hello. We will ah. quietly. The Legion can count on that. Ah, uh, you must be the knight I'm supposed to talk to. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... A citizen, I guess. Just need something for the logbook. Keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Well, I'm mostly just in. Not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. You didn't tell me your name. Oh, uh, Knight. You must not be from around here. If so, nope. it doesn't do to get too friendly. What do you mean? This isn't the Republic. Oddly enough, Legion's a little more forgiving about friendships. Out here, it's not as accepted. What? Not that I mind being friends. It's just being open about it in the outpost. Well, I have to work here. I didn't realize the NCR was so spineless. Now, wait a minute. Republic's a sight better than... Other alternatives. Uh huh. Women are serving here after all. The rest, well, might take some time. Right. And they're more accepting back west, like I said. In the meantime, if you need something repaired, let me know. I can sign the work order. As long as caps change hands, I can put them back in yours. Right. Uh, uh Ranger Jackson? Something else you needed? I'm short handed here. Uh, in a way, I can help. Help? Now look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. Yeah? You look like you can handle yourself. I can. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. Oh shit. You bet. Hey. Woo. Happy birthday. Oh boy. Look at you. And you. Woo, look at that thing go flying. Woo. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. He want it. There it is. I had to help him find it. Come here, little boy. Come here. Oh. Sorry for all you ant lovers out there. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. Ah, uh, you mentioned a reward before? No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied, and I meant it. Not allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not gonna come check. So here you go, just between us. Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example for the others. I know Ranger Jackson appreciates it. Hmm. I wanted to talk to you about Prim. Prim? Shay's units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? Well, first of all, Haynes is under man and is requesting some additional support. I'd like to help, but we can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. Damn. Yeah, but having Prim in the trade route under NCR control would help the west. I see the wisdom in that. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some additional support. And also, one of the convents from the NCR CEF is looking for a pardon, so do you think you can hook them up? One of the powder gangers? Well, no, 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 no. Nothing but trouble for us. 
Why would we want one of them no, anywhere no. in an official capacity? He's not one of the Potter gangers. His sentence was almost up, and he isn't tied to the Potter gangers. Uh, all right. If his sentence was closing up, I can see about getting him pardoned. Prim is important to our trade up from California, so having someone there owes us a favor. That couldn't hurt. All right. That's all I want to say. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Damn, it's nighttime. Whew. Is there a bar around here? Hello. Coke Zero. Need a Nuka Cola. Need a Nuka Zero. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? Coke Zero. Take a look. Take a look. Looking for trouble? Maybe. Have I found some? Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. Hmm. I wasn't asking if you were selling it. I want to know if you're going to give it up. All right. No, I'm not all right. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And wow. they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Wow. What are you trying to forget? Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo. They just burned that too. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. But <laughs> that's just, uh, that doesn't sound like Raiders. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR supply lines. Who the fuck is these Mojave Legion people? Post is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a Brotherhood scribe to tell me that. I've already cleared the roads for Jackson. No shit. <laughs> Drinks on me then. Still, not like I'm going anywhere. Caravan title still keeping me here, even though it's dead and gone. Huh. Well, all right. I guess I'll be seeing it. You take care now. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Hey, hey, hey. Guess what? Hey, I'm not sure you should. Yeah. Guess what? I got the extra troop support. Yeah, I just got word of that. Oh! There's a squad of rangers standing by. Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff and the rangers will be his deputies. This town will be in NCR territory. This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR citizens and pay any appropriate and associated taxes. <laughs> it's your choice, but those rangers are only coming if we get your support. Oh, really? Well, never mind, never mind. Sir. Be here. Hey, hey, guess what I got? Hey, thanks for getting me that pardon. Me and the boys will take good care of Prim. Don't you worry. You better. Who's in charge of the Potter Gangers? Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. Eddie and his boys? Okay. <laughs> well, alright then. Watch yourself out there. Hey, deputy. Where's Dep? Hey there. People going up slide? People can now leave now. I'm still trying to find a deputy. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Yeah. That's off to you. Ah, oh, there you are. I was looking all over for you. Well, if it isn't the lawbringer. Yeah, that me. What's your problem now? My problem is that I'm no longer a deputy. I'm just a beagle now. Apparently two and a half months of law enforcement experience doesn't count for anything. The new regime is just that. 
all new. He's a good sheriff, but a hard man. He doesn't abide by anyone slinking by the rules. I guess there won't be any trouble, but the man's law is hard. I mean, you weren't doing shit. You weren't protecting the town. Hell. Well, anyway, since I helped out your town, uh, I mean, I really don't care. But, um, can you tell me a little bit about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. Really? They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. Yeah. I assume that was you? Uh-huh. They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. If I... I guess, I mean, I had nothing else to do. I guess I'll mosey on over there. See what shakes loose. I don't know. I don't really care about this guy who shot me. You know, he had his reasons. I don't really want any. I really don't want any uh, business with that guy. But if I run into him, I don't know. Maybe I kill him. Checker suit. I'm not gonna forget that face. I'm not gonna forget that suit. I got nothing else to do, so I guess I. I don't know. Go get a bed or something and then mosey on tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Uh, I don't even remember where I used to live at. Man, I am fucked up. That guy got me pretty good. Got me pretty good. Well, anyway, guys. That's going to be it for the video. Tune in tomorrow for a brand new episode of Follow New Vegas. And I'll catch you guys later. <sighs> Guess I'll be sleeping on this bench tonight. Shit.